Life is a journey filled with choices that can have a big impact, either in a positive or negative way. Most of the time, it's up to you to decide how you want to live your life. These choices can range from significant decisions to small, everyday ones, like what to eat for a meal. Your choices shape your life and what it will be like in the future. For instance, if you constantly eat unhealthy food, it will affect your health and well-being for a long time. Similarly, if you turn down a job opportunity in another country and become a successful manager, your life will be different due to that choice. So our decisions play a crucial role in our lives. But what can you do if you find yourself stuck in unhelpful habits and ways of thinking that can harm you and those around you? How can you break free from these habits? And how can you prevent them from taking hold in the first place? Welcome to another video today. In this discussion, we will be exploring common pitfalls in life that you should steer clear of if you want to have a more positive and fulfilling journey. Let's start with the first trap, procrastination. It's a common habit that can have significant downsides. When we procrastinate, we delay tasks and goals, and this can lead to missed opportunities and increased stress. Procrastination often happens when we avoid doing something because we fear failure or feel overwhelmed by the task. This habit creates unnecessary stress because we know there's something we should be doing, but keep putting it off, which affects both our mental and physical health. To combat procrastination, you can take several steps. First, break your tasks into smaller, more manageable steps. This makes them feel less daunting. Second, set achievable goals and deadlines to create a sense of urgency. Lastly, find motivation by rewarding yourself for completing tasks and focusing on the positive outcomes that will result from your efforts. Recognizing the negative effects of procrastination is the first step to overcoming it. By doing so, you can lead a more productive and less stressful life. So don't let procrastination hold you back. Embrace your tasks and seize the opportunities that come your way. Let's simplify the discussion on pride. Pride can be a good thing because it boosts your self-esteem and confidence. It makes you proud of your achievements and abilities, which is healthy. However, too much pride or arrogance can be a problem. <laughs> when you're overly proud, you might not admit your mistakes or flaws, and that can stop you from growing and learning. The key is to find a balance between feeling proud of what you've done and being humble. Being humble means being open to feedback, admitting your imperfections, and being willing to improve. By finding this balance, you can lead a more successful and fulfilling life. So it's good to celebrate your achievements, but also stay open to learning and feedback. Let's simplify the idea of not balancing all the options. Life is like a big puzzle with many pieces, and the choices we make are crucial pieces of this puzzle. It's a bit like looking at a menu when you go out to eat. You don't just pick the first thing you see. You take a moment to see what else is available. In life, before making a choice, it's wise to explore all the different options. Why? First, it prevents you from making hasty decisions that you might regret later, much like avoiding ordering something you won't enjoy. Second, it helps you understand the consequences of choosing one thing over another. And finally, it gives you a sense of control, allowing you to pursue your dreams and what's important to you. When faced with a decision, take a moment to think about your options. This way you can make choices that lead you to a more satisfying and meaningful life, like creating your own unique recipe for happiness. Living within your means is the key here. In our materialistic world, it's easy to get caught up in the desire for lots of possessions and buying things. This focus on materialism can lead to money-related difficulties and financial worries. To avoid these problems, it's important to live in a way that matches your income and not overspend. Think of your income as a jar, and you want to fill it with marbles. If you try to put in more marbles than the jar can hold, it will break. Just like spending more money than you have can lead to financial trouble and stress. However, if you ensure that the number of marbles you put into the jar matches its size, everything works out fine. This means spending money wisely, not buying things you can't afford and saving for the future. By living within your means, you can stay in control of your finances and lead a more peaceful life without the stress of excessive debt or financial worries. We hope you enjoyed this video today, got a heads up on some traps that you might need to avoid. If you'd like to see some more of our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, my friend, take care.